Now in this video you can see the differences between CPM and PERT techniques on various parameters. So the first and foremost difference between these two techniques the CPM is critical path method whereas PERT is program evaluation review technique. So both are network based techniques which came into existing since in the around the same time in 1950s so far from various sources. CPM is a de deterministic tool in the sense that it uses a deterministic value for the activity duration the single estimate and known estimate okay so whereas in the per technique it's a it's a per is a probabilistic tool that in the sense that it uses multiple estimates in order to arrive at a activity duration because the most of the activity times are not known so they are not available or these are uncertain so, so this is referred to as a prob probabilistic tool and this is a deterministic tool. So from the IES point of view, so the same question or the same difference can be highlighted in different, uh, in different ways. Okay, so please understand that these differences very, are very much important from IES point of view. And the second difference is these are the CPM technique is suitable for mostly common projects like civil projects which are repetitive in nature that means it's a very common and the same activities will be uh, done on, in various projects and there's there's timings also we know because of deterministic nature whereas PERT is used for mainly for R&D projects and it was invented as part of the R&D project requirement uh, only so and uh, R&D projects typically the same R&D project don't happen again. So every R&D project is a different one. So these are referred as non-repetitive. Uh, that's why we don't know how much time it takes for a specific activity in, in an R&D project. Okay. The third difference comes to and uh, from a planning and scheduling perspective on what they focus on. So CPM focuses on both cost and time because these are not one-time projects and the large-scale projects. So it, it tries to optimize both the time and cost. It tries to minimize the project duration as far as possible as well as the cost from a resource standpoint. So as the time increases, the cost also increases. So it focuses on both time cost trade-off. Whereas in r and projects, the focus of this technique is mostly on time which is unknown. So we try to uh, check or arrive at time based project planning or scheduling uh, times. So, and then next difference is the CPM is activity oriented, whereas PERT is event oriented. So, in, in case of RD products, you know, the, each milestone will give us more visibility on what are the next activities that are going to happen. Right, so this is more of event oriented whereas this is activity oriented and this is a straightforward one and the fifth one is the activities are predictable because which are repetitive in nature we know how it how those activity happens and they are predictable and these activities in R&D projects are the techniques that we put uses in the projects the typically that activities are unpredictable in nature because how much time it takes we are not sure right so that is one and the sixth one is a applicability of the crashing technique in case of cpm and pert so crashing is not applicable in case of pert because we don't try to reduce or force uh, to reduce the duration of a project by as assigning more resources because it assigning more resources won't might not solve a R and D project problem, right? Whereas, so if you increase the manpower to reduce the project duration, so it might work in some of the projects which uses CPM techniques like construction project. If you want to speed up the some specific activity, you might crash that activity in order to reduce the project time, right? So these are the main differences which you need to understand and because the questions in different forms can come from these differences. For engineering services, general studies video lectures, visit www.iesgeneralstudies.com For mechanical engineering video lectures, 
and question and answer discussion visit www.getnet.com